Okay, welcome back to AlgoJS. Today's question is leak code 211, design, add, and search words data structure. So we need to design a data structure that supports adding new words and finding if a string matches any previously added string. So we need to create word dictionary to initialize the object, add word with word as a parameter, which adds the word to the data structure, and then search, passing in word, which returns true if any string in the data structure matches the word or false otherwise. And if the value in the word is equal to a period, this is a wildcard, so it can be matched to any letter. So what data structure do we know where we can search through characters within a word in order to find whether the word exists? Well, we have try data structures, right? And a try data structure has, say, a root, and this branches off to the individual characters. So say we had a period, we had A, we had D. At the end of the word, there is usually a flag such as is end is equal to true to state that, look, this value right here, this character is the end of this word. So if we search afterwards and we're looking for BAD, this will reach the D and it will return true because we've reached the end of that string. So in order to add a word to a try data structure, I'll add a link to leak code 208 implementing a try, also known as a prefix tree, where I discuss in detail how to construct a tree. Here we'll just look at the high level overview, right? So say we want to add to a try, right? So our try is initially an object, right? What we do is we look in this try if we have this first character. If we don't, we set it to an empty object and then we move over to A and we repeat the process. So is A within this try? No, so we add it, we reach D. Is D within the try? No, so we add it. And now this is at the end of the word. So we can have an is end flag, which is equal to true within here. This is what a try data structure looks like. And this is how we are going to construct it. Now, the tricky part of this question is where we're going to search through this try data structure in order to work out whether we have a word that matches. So as stated in the question, if we have a period, this is considered as a wildcard. So this can be matched with any letter. So firstly, we are going to be using recursion for this. And with any type of recursive call, we need a base case. So something that's going to say, look, we found our solution or we haven't found the solution. So we're going to return this. And for this question, we have a word, say we have bad again. The length of this is going to be equal to three, right? So in our recursive call, what we can do is we can pass down an index, right? So this can be index one, two, three. As you can see, we've reached index of three. So we've reached the length of bad. If these two are equal, so if word.length is equal to the index and is end flag is set to true, this is really important because otherwise it could just be a prefix. Then we found a result so we can return true. So that is the base case we're going to work with. The other issue we have is this wildcard here. So like we said, if there is a period, this can be matched with any letter. So what do we do at this point? Well, the best step is to iterate through the keys at this level, right? And if any of these keys return true, so if we reach the end and there is an is end flag set to true, then this can ultimately return true. Otherwise, say we're looking for dad. We're simply going to check within the try at each character, as long as they're not equal to null, we're going to check and carry on recursing, passing in the index, the try at that character and the word we're looking for. Sorry, that should be two. And if we reach the end where the index is equal to the length of the word and is end flag is equal to true, we can return true. What happens if we have Dado, right? So in the case of Dado, we're going to go down this subsection of try. We're going to reach D. We're going to traverse further. And the value we're looking for is going to be equal to null, right? And the current way we've constructed this so far, this hasn't been checked. So before we recurse down, we need to make sure that the character within the try doesn't equal null. If it does, then we just return false. So I believe we've covered everything for the solution. Let's jump in to the code editor and start coding it out. So let's initialize the try, right? And this is going to be class-based. So we need to initialize it with this so that we can have access to it within add word and search. So that's the first part done. In order to add a word, it's the same as implementing try the code 208. We're going to have a reference to the try. So we're going to say this.try. And then we loop through the characters of the word. Like we said, if node at character is equal to null, so if it's not already in the try, we create it. So node at character is going to be set to an empty object. And then we move into it. And once we exit this, we are at the end of that value within the try. So we can add an is end flag here. 
and set that to true. That's all we need to do to add word. Now for search, we are going to be using recursion. So we can have a container here. So we can say this dot, we'll call it DFS. We're going to pass in the word. We're going to pass in the try and we're going to pass in an index of zero and we need to return this. So let's copy this. Let's paste it up here. Let's add DFS here. Let's update the parameters to word, try and index. Let's first add the base case. So if word dot length is equal to the index, we have found an endpoint. So we also need to check whether we have the isEnd flag here. So try dot isEnd. If there is an isEnd flag, we can return true or false. And we need to return this. Then we need to get the character. So the character is going to be word at index. So that gets us the character. Now, like we said, the period is going to be a world card. So if the character is equal to a period, we have a wild card. So we need to loop through the keys within the try. Okay, so let's do that. So that key in try, if we find a solution when recursing to each of these keys, within this try, if we find a solution that is true, we need to return true from this. So we're gonna pass in word, we're gonna pass in try at key as the next value within the try, and we also need to update the index to index plus one. And if that returns true, then we need to return true. Else, if the character is not a wildcard, we first need to check whether the character is within the try. So like dado, the O was not within the try, so we just return false. So here we're going to check, so the character in try doesn't equal null, then we can carry out the search. So we're going to carry out the DFS. Remember we're using class here, so we always need to add this before. And we need to pass in word, try at character, and index plus one. And we need to return this. If we have reached this point, we can just return false. And that recurs to the call throughout the entire try and compare it with the word, either return true or false, and it will be returned here. So let's give this a run. It's been accepted, let's submit it. And there you go. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.